Hey, what's up? Welcome back. So today I decided to do this look here. I went for a gold eye and a red lip because to me this is like your classic Christmas makeup look. And I also feel like it's a look that suits everybody. You know, everyone can pull off this look one way or another. Even if you want to go like a little bit softer on the eyes. You don't need to do the wing liner, you know. You can just do like a soft gold on the lid and some mascara. If you do want to go down this simpler road. Anyway, if you want to see how I get this whole look, then please keep watching. I'm still a little hungover, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna use my Marc Jacobs primer. I went to, Crystal had a Christmas party on Saturday night and it was a little lit. It was so much fun though. Yesterday I didn't do anything. I was supposed to organize this whole room because as you can see, it's different behind me, but it's 100% not finished. I still have a long way to go and I was planning on doing it yesterday. So when I sat down to film today, it would be how I wanted it to be, but alcohol won in that case so that didn't happen i'm taking my lawless woke up like this foundation in the shade kalahari i get a lot of questions regarding this foundation and i really really like it but i also do really like a dewy finish foundation so it's a full coverage with a dewy finish i'm not sure how it would sit on oily skin to be honest because it is quite dewy even when I do powder it down, it's still quite dewy. Definitely for like a normal to a dry skin, I feel like it would be okay. But if you have oily skin and you've tried it, let me know how it sat. Because I'm curious to know how it would sit on an oily skin. Okay, I'm going to highlight with light shape tape. The huge. I wanted to put like little Christmas decorations in my background as well. Yeah, that didn't happen either. <laughs> This brush I'm using is a Fenty brush. I think it's their highlight brush. Yeah. But it's a good shape for getting like right underneath the eyes. Has that little angle to it. Let me show you here, yeah. So it fits right in underneath the eye. I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty translucent powder. This is the shade Pound Cake. I'm gonna use this to set underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna do down along my T-zone as well. Because as I said, this foundation is quite dewy, but I still powder it because the dewiness still comes through. Because if I don't powder it, I feel like it just looks a little bit too oily for me. I also got derma planning done again the other day. It definitely makes my makeup go on like really flawlessly. I spoke about derma planning before. If you're not sure what it is, I will link where I go below so you can like read about it properly because I am not the best at explaining these type of things. That's just Garfield's going crazy in the hall. So yeah, it basically removes any of the little peach fuzz, the little hairs on your face. It also removes two to three weeks of dead skin cells, if I'm correct in that. But definitely my skin is just like so much softer after I get it done. I get really hairy and that's why I get it done. If I just had a small amount of hair, like normal people, I probably wouldn't get it done. But especially here and along here, I get so hairy that my makeup just cakes into it and it's gross. I left my tan on too long as well, don't judge me. Hung over. So my makeup would just stick in all these places that look gross and I consider and I do makeup for a living on myself. That's not a good look. So I'm gonna take my MAC Mineralize Powder. This is in the shade Medium Deep. I'm just gonna use this to bronze and add a bit of warmth to my skin. I think I went a bit overboard on that side. This is a bit warmer than my usual bronzers. But I just wanted to add a little bit of warmth. I did my makeup using this. I used to always use this as bronzer. Just started to use other stuff. But I used this the other night and really liked how it looked. I think I went a bit crazy on this side though. Oh no, it's the light. There's more light coming in this side than this side. That's why this side looks more orange. I'm going to take a little bit of my Tantastic bronzer from Marc Jacobs, which is a cooler toned, just to kind of go over my contour. Just slightly. So I'm gonna prime with my soft ogre paint pot. <laughs> Not as much left in it, but let's try and scrape. 
I'm just priming all over the lid up to the brow bone. So I'm going in with my Natasha Denona wipe off some of those fingerprints. So I'm taking my Natasha Denona gold palette today. I'm going to start with this shade area. So I'm just going to work this in as our transition shade. This brush is a Morphe M513 brush. And then I'm gonna go in with this dark brown shade, it's called Log. And I'm gonna focus this on the outer corner of the eye and kind of slightly blending it in, but I'm not gonna go all the way into the inner corner. So I'll just start by pressing the product on the outer corner. And then back in with my first brush then, I like to use this just to blend that in to the first shade. So just by pressing the product on, it just gives you that really intense shade from the shadow. It just gives you as much color payoff as possible. That's why I always like to have a transition shade on first, so then it's always easier to blend darker shades into that. I know some people like start with darker shade and then kind of add the lighter shade afterwards, which is fine, you know, do whatever works best for you but I just find that this always works so much easier. It definitely helps with the blend. Just taking my concealer brush just to wipe any little bits of fallout. I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and just some powder. This is the Next to Nothing powder from MAC in the shade Light. So I'm just gonna get a little bit on this brush and just, it up, just dust it over my brow bone. Just helps the colors blend a little bit more. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my Fenty eye primer. You can use any kind of eye primer, just like a clear one. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that onto a flat brush. I only need a tiny, tiny amount. And I'm just gonna lightly press it on the lid. And then I'm going in with my gold. So I'm taking Alchemist first. I'm pressing this all over the lid. And then taking some of the shade Cava, which is a bit more of a softer, lighter gold. I'm going in with my blending brush then, just to soften the edges. So let me have that really nice, soft, golden color. Now I'm taking my Costa Rica pencil from MAC. So it just has this really nice, warm tone to it. And I'm going to go underneath my eye along my lower lash line, like three quarters of the way in, or like half of the way in actually. And then taking a small shader brush to blend it out. So you can kind of blend it in slightly. But we're keeping most of it on like this part of the eye. Now take some of the dark brown shade and go over. You only need a little bit of the shadows because they're quite pigmented. And then we're taking some of the first shade to blend this out. I'm gonna put some black eyeliner in the waterline. This is Marc Jacobs pencil in the shade Blacker. I'm also gonna do a quick liner. This is Man Eater liner from Tarte. I'm just gonna quickly do a wing. So I just like to map out my wing shape here and then I drag it back in to my eye. And then I'll go over and tidy any areas that need to be tidied up. Ooh! I like when a wing turns out. That turned out. Now we just need to get this on the other eye. If only you could like take it off and stamp it on the other eye. How much easier would our lives be? I got so much makeup in my hair today. <laughs> That's the worst thing about my roots freshly done and honestly I didn't I wasn't that careful because I'm gonna when I go out today I'm just gonna put a hat on anyway so you're not gonna see it but usually I have to be a lot more careful than I was today. Now I'm taking my NARS Climax mascara to coat my lashes. 
I'm going to take this shade here. It's called Sparks. And I'm just going to highlight my inner corners. Now I'm going to put some lashes on. These are Lily lashes in the style Ella. Now I'm going to take some Warm Soul from MAC. Just for a bit of colour. And for highlight, let's go all out and use Ophrat Cosmetics Rodeo Drive because this is a classic Christmassy look. We want to look like glowing angels for Christmas. So get that highlight on. So I'm going to use good old trusty Fenty Beauty in the shade Uncensored. It's honestly such a good red, it suits everybody. Let's just leave it like this. There has been weirder trends on Instagram. Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. This red lip makes me happy. So here's our finished look. Pretty digging it, pretty into this eye look. I'm very happy even that my wing liner came out the way it was supposed to. Even if you're not a red lip or a colored lip type of person, you can definitely whack on a neutral lip with this eye look because it's like a neutral eye color you can like break basically put any lip on with it i just think as i said this is just a really nice classic christmas look but anyway i'm gonna get this edited and get this up as soon as possible thanks so much for checking in and i'll see you in my next video